Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of All. On the Blender Studio have made the unusual decision to change something about the Blender 4.2 Beta. Let's have a look at what they've changed and if we think it's a change for the good. So let's have a quick look at what this was like before in Blender 4.2 Beta and then we'll go on to what it's changed to. So if we go to Edit and Preferences and we come to our menu, where we used to have add-ons, we now have extensions. Now this was always going to be the change in Blender 4.2. And Blender has set up a warehouse of different add-ons that we can put into Blender. All we need to do is install them and then activate them. But this is different to how we'd use add-ons that come from somewhere like Blender Marketplace. To install those, we need to come to this tiny little arrow here and install from disk which means that we still get this very large menu, which looks fairly similar to what we've had previously when dealing with Blender's onboard add-ons and the ones that we've installed from external services like Blender Marketplace. So pretty similar, but a different term. And we also have the add-ons here and then themes we can also install separately. So effectively a bit of a name change with extensions and then add-ons up here and a slightly annoying small menu. Whereas now, if we go to the Blender Foundation and Downloads, we can still scroll down to Go Experimental, and we've got the Blender 4.2 Beta, but we can see this was updated on the 29th of June, which is today, very early in the morning. Now, the reason this is significant is firstly, in the Beta, normally this is just being used for bug fixes, not something where they actually change the user interface and the way this looks. So what I'm gonna do is download this and we'll have a look at the difference. So this is the new 4.2 beta version and not much looks like it's changed. However, if we go to edit and preferences, we can see a notable change here. We've now got add-ons back. It's not a menu, but we also have the extensions and they've been separated out. Now, as I said, this is not the normal process for a beta. Normally the Blender Foundation don't make big changes like this to the UI, but apparently this has been done off feedback from the community who didn't like what was going on before. Now, I'm not sure whether this is the majority of people or just the small minority that have a tendency to be the most vocal. So throw a comment in the comment section of what you think about this change. I'm gonna talk through some of these changes a little bit and my personal thoughts on it. So firstly, Having these extensions and add-ons can be a little tedious as we now have to go through two menus. And if you don't remember where your add-ons from, whether it comes from that extension library or it's something you've bought externally, is a little bit annoying. They also don't seem to have changed the fact that in the add-on menu, you've still got this tiny menu to get the install from disk where you've still got all of this real estate here in terms of what the standard menu size is when you open it up. Why not just put it there? I don't like that. I think that's silly. But there are also some great positives. I really like that in the extensions, you have all of the installed ones at the top, and then you have the available ones in this drop down menu below, so you don't have to filter through everything that was available to you to get to the ones that you've already got, and you can quite quickly go down and have a look at the available ones as well. I really like that. I think that's really quite neat and tidy. However, I would say I think there's a little bit of a missed opportunity here where we've got these add-ons being almost looked at as a separate thing to extensions where I'd quite like it if this only deals with the things that are external to Blender, not everything that's both an add-on and an extension. I think that's just going to cause confusion. For example, if I scroll down, ND is here as well. And that's from the extension library, not an external add-on. If you're going to start separating these out, Keep them separate so they're quick and easy to find. I also find it very weird that in the extensions thing, for example, I have all of these installed, that when I click the drop down menu, none of the options for the extension are here. I can only install the extension from here, and then I have to go to the add on menu to actually get the details for if I scroll down ND and whether I activate it and the changes to key maps. Why do that so that we have to go from one menu to the other? If this was my personal preference, yeah, go for it. Keep the extensions together, keep the installed and the available ones separate. I think that's really nice, but keep all the options for these extensions, preferably actually all of the ones that are free in one location, and then anything that you've paid for or had to get external from Blender in a separate menu. Don't have the idea of dividing them up in some places, but combining them together in others. That just feels odd. Though I will add that this does feel like a neater place. 
Now that I don't have a huge list, it only goes down that far, and it's only got the ones that I've previously installed, so again, this is still a neater place, and less of a tedious menu to start going through. So I guess that's positive in that way, and it definitely does shrink down this add-on section to make it easier to deal with. So just in summary, a relatively unusual change here, this late in the Blender 4.2 process. Personally, overall, I think this is a good change, but I still think there's a little bit of a way to go for what I personally would like to see. But do let me know what you think in the comments section. I find it really interesting to know what others think as well as myself, and I think it's really useful for the community to get a range of opinions. Have a great day, guys.